Hey guys, Amartya here from C4E Tech and if you're wondering why we are not in our regular setup, that's because today we are doing a setup tour. So if you guys end up enjoying this video, then please subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. So let's start things off at the place where all our videos start off. This is Ash's room where we hold most of our team meetings and this is Ash's primary setup. Let's cut to him. Hey guys, so this is my primary desk. Uh, so this is my setup. I'm currently editing off uh, GS65 Stealth, the previous generation, the A HN uh, i7. It's got a 1070 Max Q. This is a 38 inch Quad HD 75 hertz lockable LG monitor. That's the primary monitor I use. My keyboard is a K95 Platinum. So that's a nice hub. This is what I use mainly for calls. The Bose, uh, this is the Bose what? 700, first order. Yeah, Bose something 700, I'm sorry. Uh, a Xiaomi controller. This I have it with a uh, Xbox hack or driver. So it basically mimics Xbox controller for any games we play. So that's that. AirPods Pro. MX Master 3. So this is what I'm editing with right now. Uh, I mean, I don't really edit much, but whatever editing I do, this is what I'm using. This is a 10 watt uh, wireless charger from Gigabyte. I It doesn't charge at 10 watts though, because I have it plugged into a USB port, USB 2 port or something. So this is basically just for the AirPods Pro, which is from my time. So that's that. And here is. The secret of my energy. I'm confident. That's it. Sound it better, better than my head. My headphones for edits. Uh, what else? This is a Logitech stand. If I'm doing a video call or something, I've got my phone on this. So, uh, electronic cigarette. And before somebody types in, it's bad, it's bad only for sale, not for personal use. So, yes, it's great if you want to quit smoking. Which I did. So that's basically my setup. That is, uh, that is what I work with. So yeah, continue on with the tour. Okay, so once we are done with our team meets, this is where I sit and write my scripts. After all, my primary job is that of a script writer, right? But I'll finish this one later. Come, let's take a look at the rest of the studio. Okay, so time now to shoot some A roll. All our camera equipment is in this room, so follow me guys. So this is the Dew 5 where we keep all our camera equipment. The first shelf, it's got all the lenses. And the second shelf, that's where we keep all the cameras. So we generally shoot with five cameras. This is the FS7 that we are currently shooting on. Inside is the new FX9. We also have the A6300 and the A7 Mark III. There's also a smaller vlogging camera. That's the Sony RX100 Mark V. We shoot with that time to time. And the reason why we have this dehumidifier is so that we can keep all the lenses and camera equipment from uh, getting moisture and all that stuff and because that ruins lenses. So yeah. Okay, now that we are done showing you guys the lenses and the camera equipment, let's go upstairs and see the a roll setup. This is our primary a roll room. So we shoot most of our a roll for our videos in here. This isn't as brightly lit as this always. Like you see these lights on the roof. Well, they're on so that you guys can see my face, but when we're shooting a roll, we generally turn them off. So let's now focus on the A-Roll setup here. So this is uh, the tripod. Here we have our camera. On front of it is the teleprompter. So this is the Mi Pad. We use this as the teleprompter most of the times. Uh, right next to it is the Atmos Field Monitor. This is used by the presenter to see if the framing is correct. And the lights we generally use is this big umbrella light. This is used as a fill light. As you guys can see, it casts very soft shadows. And then next to it, we have the face light. So this is used to light up the presenter's face. 
As for the backdrop, well, this is your honeycomb shelf. You guys have seen it in most of our videos. And we are trying some new backdrops. So we have this brick wall over here. That's one of the backdrops we have been using. And then we have this blue colorful wall. We use this some of the times as well. And then we have this green screen over here. You might have seen Ash do some of our recent videos with this on it. And then we have a few more air roll setups, but that's in the next room. So follow me. So this is the second room I have been telling you guys about. This is another setup that we have here. Well, it's not really a setup yet. It's kind of like a work in progress. The only things finalized are the mouse and the keyboard. So we have the Logitech G903. It's a wireless mouse. It's sitting on this wireless uh, charging pad. It's like a mouse pad and a charging pad all in one. So yeah, that's also from Logitech. And this keyboard, it's pretty cool. So this is the G613, again from Logitech. It's a wireless mechanical keyboard. So next to that, we have the wireless charging pad here. And these monitor, this monitor, these two speakers, well, they're temporary. We might change them around depending on when the new PC comes. This is, as I said, a work in progress. But even then, we have shot like a couple of videos here. You might remember the review of the Mi Gaming laptop that was done in this setup. And if we go to that corner of the room, well, we did the apps video from here. And if you see in the reflection, that's our camera guy, Hari. Now let's move on to the next room where we will show you guys how we shoot some of our B-rolls. So this is the room where we shoot most of our B-roll. As you guys can see, we already have Venkat here. Venkat bro, what are you doing? I am taking B-roll for Realme 6 Pro. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about your setup right now? Yeah, sure. Currently, I am shooting with the Sony, uh, Sony A7 III. And with the 7200 lens, this setup I have used a plug, a wooden plug, also phone, a uh, prop, a small plan to add a little bit of like flavor for the B-roll and uh, yawn to light, this is to light up the subject to get like the reflections and the gradients and this is the big aperture light for the fill light and if the phone gets fingerprints or something to wipe it up, we use microfiber cloths yeah, that's pretty much it cool, and I think that's a Manfrotto uh, tripod you're using right now? Yes, this is the Manfrotto tripod uh, and we are using a Manfrotto neck for it. Cool. And if you can come in a little bit more, we have a couple of other tripods, light stands and all that other stuff at that corner. We also, we are using this wooden plank, but other than that, we have three more options. We have this one, this is like a shiny black finish and we have another one here. Other than that, we also have charts, wallpapers, these are just here so that we can spruce up the background of all the b-rolls we take, add some color into the mix. And then finally, we have this TV. We also use this as a backdrop for some of our b-rolls. I mean, it's a TV, what else do I say? So yeah, let's now check out where we keep the rest of our stuff. That's the inventory. So this is the inventory. We keep all our extra camera equipment and all the stuff that aren't currently in use here. So if you look to the right, here we have some of the props like this green Android. We have this fidget spinner. And the left here, we have all our camera equipment. So I'm a writer, I'm not that good with camera equipment. So I have Venkat here to help me out. I mean, I know what this is. This is a handheld gimbal, but okay. So, what's this? Venkat? Uh, that's a pocket dolly from Edel Crown, uh, which we used to take like a circular shots. And you see to your left, that's a big skater kind of thing. So, that's the skater, the big version of it. Okay. So, this is, I guess, what they call a skater. I mean, I don't know, guys. Again, moving further on, we have some of the boxes. These are the boxes for all the PC parts that we have used in our builds. We'll show them to you later on. I mean, the PCs. And if we move further in, this is where we keep all our phones. So, you can see our phone collection. And in these boxes, we have more phones. So, yeah, that's about it for the inventory. Let's now go down and see how video editing is done. So this is the editing room. This is where all the magic happens. And this is a primary editing rig. 
and this is our editor Shubham. Hi. So Shubham, what are you working on right now? I'm currently working on a new video project which should probably go live by Saturday hopefully. Cool. And can you tell us a little bit about your setup here? Yeah, sure. These are dual speakers, dual monitors. This one's the BenQ 1440p and this one's the 1080p display from AOC. Then I have the Logitech G402 and then th there's the keyboard which is from Kula Master. What else guys? Stay home, stay safe. Okay, cool. And just to give you guys an idea about the setup, like why this is a primary editing rig. So we use this to render our videos. That's because this one has the Intel i9-9900X. It also has 64 gigs of RAM as well as a 1080 Ti. Now we have our other editing rigs. We have this one here. This is the 5960X again, powered by dual monitors. And to the back here, we have the AMD Threadripper 1950X. So that's the first generation Threadripper. So this is not generally used for videos as much, as in not generally used for editing as much. We generally use it to upload videos, but then in a pinch, it really does come in handy. So that's about it for the editing part of it. But hey, creating videos, it can get tough, right? So sometimes we need a break. And well, when we do, here's where we go. So this is the living room guys, where we come to chill. This is a big TV where we watch stuff, the couch recliner. Uh, this is where I spend most of my days actually sleeping. And hey, you, as you guys can see, we really love playing foosball. Whoa. Okay, so that's been it for this video. Tell us in the comments below how you liked our studio tour. As always, like, share, subscribe and all that. I know if you haven't turned on notifications yet, please hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time one of our video goes live. Thanks a lot for sticking around till the end guys. Cheers.